Hi and welcome back to Break 100 Golf. I'm John. You're going to love today's video because we're going to do a review of the Garmin Approach R10. We'll do some of the features, radar metrics, and my honest opinion about the device. I've owned the device for six and a half months. I've tracked tens of thousands of swings with this device both in practice and in virtual rounds of golf on my in-home golf simulator. There are tons of videos that I've done with GS Pro, Awesome Golf, and other software using the Garmin device. It is very versatile. First of all, you can download the application and use the Garmin Approach R10 with iOS and Android. So if you have an Android phone, if you have an iPhone or an iPad, uh, you don't necessarily have to have a golf simulator in order to use the device. You can take it to the driving range, you can take it on course if you want to review, if you have time to do that. Um, it's great for golf simulation. If you want to just hit into a net and track your, you know, your swing metrics. Uh, what I've been using it for recently, and I actually got a golf coach for this, is I was coming over the top and I had a very negative outside to in golf swing. So within 30 swings, Using my Garmin R10, I was able to get a positive inside to out golf swing and then dial it back. So it is very helpful if you want to improve your game. So using it with iOS or Android, the golf app uh, in both of those stores, whether it be iPhone or the Android store, is free to download. The only thing that's free for you to use is the tracking and the metrics and all that for your swings or the driving ranges are also free within the app and that is a really nice device to help dial in your clubs so if you've got a seven iron and you're only hitting at 155 yards and you want to get it to 170 you may be able to figure out how to do that with that whether it be your club path your smash factor it could be your launch angle your swing speed Maybe it's your golf ball, maybe it's your golf clubs, maybe you need a fitting. If you want to use Home Tee Hero, it is $9.99 a month, and that's within the Garmin app, and it has 42,000 golf courses. The graphics are a bit cartoony, however, if you're going to use it, like maybe mirroring it or Chromecasting it to a TV, or just using it with your phone or iPad, it's excellent. It's a great tool. So it's $9.99 a month or $99 per year. And then I would recommend you try it for 30 days because you can try it for free for 30 days. And then from that point on, you'll have to either buy the software for $99 a year or $9.99 a month. It's a really nice tool. Here's a few of the driving ranges. And also, here's an example of an iron tract on my Garmin Approach R10 and some of the radar metrics in club path and all that good stuff. So let's take a look at that. Okay, so if you look off to the right, that is one of the swings from one of my irons that I swung. I think it probably was a five iron. So if you look, you'll see the path was a bit to the right. And that was mainly from the side spin. So we got 190 yards of total distance, 178 yards of carry, and total deviation of 28 yards to the right. So looking to the left, these are some of the radar metrics that the Garmin is capable and some of the tools that you can use to help improve your game and your swing. So looking off to the left, we have total distance, carry distance, moving down, we have 28 yards right of deviation. The total was 25 yards right of carry deviation because it, it kind of backed off a little bit. My club head speed was 88 miles an hour. The ball speed was 122 miles an hour. 14.8 degree launch angle. Launch direction was 1.2 degrees right. The reason why it went so right is because you had so much side spin. So, and that's because of my outside in uh, golf swing and my club face being slightly open. So if you look at the club face, it was 2.7 degrees right. So it was slightly open. And my club path was 8.4 degrees left. And that was very common for me because I was coming over the top with an outside in golf swing. Even though I could get distance from it, it was not proper. Uh, so I'm getting that as close to zero as possible. And that's something that Garmin can help you do. Going up back to the top again, backspin, 4,201 RPMs. 
side spin 11.52 with <laughs> going to the right. So that's why I went so much to the right. So the apex height was 25 yards. The attack angle was 4.4 degrees. Carry deviation, 8.1 degrees right. Face to path, 11 degrees right. Smash factor, 1.39. As you get to around 1.4 or higher, you know you're getting a better smash factor. And that's basically your efficiency of your swing as you contact the ball. Your spin axis was 15 degrees right on this one. Spin rate uh, was 4,356 RPMs and total, total deviation was 8.5 degrees right. Okay, let's look at some of the other things. So here are some of the different applications that you can use with the Garmin app, things that are included within the Garmin app. Up at the top, we already talked about Home Tee Hero. Then you have the driving range. You have three, you know, four different driving ranges that you can use with the software, okay? There's an example right there. Now you can use them horizontally like this or in landscape mode, which is very important. Also, as you move down, you have the weekly tournament, and then we're getting into some of the software. So they also integrate for you to purchase within the application, True Golf E6 Connect. Now that is a much more realistic graphic golf simulation software. It is not available to just use on your phone. You do need to have uh, a Windows computer to use that along with your phone, okay? And you can buy that through E6 following the path through the golf app on the Garmin Golf app to E6. Uh, I don't use E6 Connect. It is really nice software and very realistic. You also have Awesome Golf. Awesome Golf, I own that. Uh, it is $350 to purchase a lifetime subscription for Awesome Golf. You're stepping up in realism when you go from the Garmin uh, golf application, you know, like Home Tee Hero and the pra practice ranges and whatnot, to Awesome Golf. So, again, Awesome Golf is integrated with the Garmin application for purchase. You can use Awesome Golf on your phone or your computer toggled to your phone. I tried both. Initially, I was uh, broadcasting my phone through Chromecast to my projector to my golf simulator. And then I started using Awesome Golf on my computer toggled to my phone. Then run an HDMI cable up to my projector. I didn't really notice any kind of change graphically. It was kind of the same, okay? I think Chromecast works really well. I don't know about screen mirroring because I don't use that. My phone is very proprietary. So again, Awesome Golf is 350 for a lifetime subscription. It has excellent practice utilities and four nine hole golf courses. And here's the range and course examples. All right, so what you're looking at is the distance range within Awesome Golf. Uh, again, it is a step up graphically. You can select what club you're using and track all of your data for that club. Awesome Golf also has a community app that you can download. And then once you sign into that, you can go in after your golf sessions and see your both your lifetime and your golf sim sessions within Awesome Golf, which is a great feature. Next, you're looking at one, another one of the ranges. This is nice for your approach shots or you know, looking at to the left, 150 yards, 225, 100, you got water there, so maybe practice over water. 275 yards, maybe more with a three water driver. 180, 60, so on and so forth with the approach shots. I really like this as well. Next, this is one of the best features in Awesome Golf. This is the coaching mode. Not only can you see the swings that you're taking and the ball path in the upper left hand corner visually, but you're also gonna be able to see your groupings, which is off to the right. You're gonna be able to see your club path and face to path, which is super important, at least for me specifically, because I was struggling with an outside in golf swing. And again, even though I was getting distance, it is not correct and it was making me fail. So I'm fixing that by using the Garmin Approach R10 and the different utilities. So you also get your shot stats, you know, like carry your total distance and your roll, and your smash factor. Okay, so next, this is a shot of the 
tee box on one of the par fives, a 454 yard dog leg. Again, graphically, this is going to be a step up from the Garmin. I love using Awesome Golf. The only thing I guess that holds it back a bit is not the practice and not how it tracks your ball, but with your on-course play, because you only have four nine-hole golf courses. They're not real golf courses. They are uh, nine holes, but they are realistic and they don't lag, whether you use your computer or your phone, they're very, very good. Moving on from there, also available uh, within the app for purchase, uh, besides E6 and Awesome Golf, is the Golf Club 2019. You will need a computer in order to use that software. Pricing does vary for like E6 and the Golf Club 2019, and those are more realistic software. You're gonna have to use a computer. You wanna get something at least that has some speed. I recommend having 16 gig of RAM and at least an i5 computer uh, to use that. So let's talk about what I'm currently using. Now, currently I'm using GS Pro for my golf simulation and practice. It is not supported within Garmin. However, it will work with the Garmin R10 approach. In order for it to work with your Garmin Approach R10, you will need to download the Bluetooth connectivity software from GitHub for it to work. I do have videos that I've posted and I will put them at the end of this review for you to click on if you're interested in GS Pro and how to connect your Garmin Approach R10 to GS Pro. You'll also need a gaming computer. And in my opinion, you're going to need i7 or Ryzen 7, 16 gig of RAM, okay? Over three gigahertz processor and six gig of video RAM for it to work at a minimum, in my opinion. And that's because, because of the realism and the detail in the software, you're going to need a fast computer because GS Pro uses a lot of system resources. And again, you're gonna to need to have a computer and your phone in order for it to work, okay? From there, you'd pair your Garmin R10 to the Bluetooth on your gaming computer. So the reason why I use GS Pro is because it has state-of-the-art realistic graphics and hundreds of real-life courses. I have many course play videos on my channel for you to watch if you're interested in GS Pro. I will show you a few examples of GS Pro course play paired along with the Garmin Approach R10 here in just a minute. As far as pricing, the Garmin Approach R10 is currently $599.99, just about everywhere. Uh, I saw it about a month ago or so on sale for $549. You may be able to get it slightly cheaper on eBay, but it is a very popular item and you're not really gonna save a whole lot by buying it used. Please also understand that you do not need to have a golf simulator to use the Garmin. Uh, you can hit into a net and use your iPhone, Android phone or iPad or use it at the driving range. Uh, I do have several videos though demonstrating a complete golf simulator build on my channel, so check those out. So if you plan on building the golf simulator, almost all of my videos will talk about the Garmin and how I've utilized that with my build. Okay, let's watch a few shots using GS Pro connected to my Garmin Approach R10. After that, I'll give you my honest opinion of the Garmin R10 after using it for six and a half months, probably four times a week for tens of thousands of swings. Here we go. So that looks like it's gonna be perfect right down the fairway. Excellent. That's gonna get right in there, that's perfect. So we went up and down for par on that one, very good. So next one. It's gonna get right over there, no problem. All right, that's perfect. We're gonna end up on the fairway. So that'll two putt me from there.
That's gonna work out pretty well for me. Lot of water, whole length of the hole. So, all right, we're down there on the fairway. 252 yard drive, so decent distance. That's pretty good, it might be too long. Not bad. All right, they're cheering me, so that'll be a par, because that'll two putt me from there. All right, so we got two pars in a row. They're happy, I'm happy, we're all happy. All right, so we... It's gonna start left, I think, but come back, hopefully. Uh, no way, get over! <laughs> wow, that was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> that ended up going 276 yards into the bunker. Okay, what's my honest opinion about the Garmin R10? It's an outstanding, accurate, dependable device. Again, I've hit tens of thousands of balls since earlier this year using only the Garmin Approach R10 with my golf sim. You can take it to the driving range. It's compact. You have up to 10 hours of battery uh, with it. Uh, it's helped me tune my swing and continues to impress me, okay? If you're thinking about buying one, I would not hesitate. Uh, at the price point, it does a lot of things for less than $1,000. You can buy it for $599. I have learned a ton about my swing and had a lot of fun with it. Um, please like, share this video, and subscribe for future content. And I'll see you next time.